this is Abumbra and this is my second video from my World of Warcraft classic journey. I just want to give you an update about what I've been doing in the past few days with this character, with my priest and also some infos for my gold um, farm routine and bits and bobs that I've sold on Action House. So at the moment on this character I have 106 gold so that's quite a lot more since I used to play uh, on on classic. Um, I managed to get the first goal that I had in mind is to have enough gold to buy my mount at level 40 and at the moment I'm only level 31 um, on my priest. And I managed to get 106 gold and plenty more in, in the bank. I'm going to show you exactly what I've been doing and what to sell, what not to sell. I'm just going to uh, do a, like a walk and talk video. So I'm just going to open my mail and I'll show you what I've sold, let's say, in the last uh, day or so. So in the mail I have... 10 gold so what I've been selling uh, I've started uh, leveling fishing and cooking managed to get cooking to 225 which I'm going to leave it there until I'll reach level 35 and with fishing I don't know fishing uh, I'm only 110 so just a bit more to to level up there it's just so boring but it does pay off as in, I'm going to show you, I've been testing to see how uh, fishing is in classic. Well, at least for the low level. Um, on the low level, you won't sell much fish. Um, but I did manage to sell a few like um, Firefin Snapper and Oily Black um, I've I've started um, level up fishing and I said, well, they are still like some silver, like four silver. It's more than... If you will place it and sell it to a shop, uh, it will give you just a bit more um, gold. And you can level up cooking only with fishing if you decide to. Just go on World Profession and it will show you exactly what to do. Because I was grinding a bit, uh, a few levels, I managed to level up with um, meat, which is a different route. But it's still, it still pay off. Like I told you, if I do have to grind like one level or two, uh, I'm going to kill the mobs that will actually give me something uh, a bit more than just trash item. And for example, like small eggs um, and things like that. And I'm going to show you on my TSM what exactly I sold that I managed to get 100 gold. I know it's not a lot. Possibly people developing different skills and they manage to get even more gold than that. But for me, it's a lot. From my point of view, that that's a lot. A level 31 um, to have enough gold to buy whatever you want and um, the amount. It's it's amazing. So I level up even tailoring, um, but only to 160. So I still have a bit of level to to catch up with and because I have awesome friends um, my brother sent me a few clots that he was farming he started a new character too uh, about the same the same level uh, as me so he managed to get those and send it to me so I'm going to use them for level up my tailoring and I wanted to show that I actually sold a few pieces that I crafted, like uh, Azure Silk Pants and Azure Hood. Because I believe the Azure Silk uh, things, they are with Frost Damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, increase damage done by Frost Spell, so all the mages will, will grab them. If they don't have Tailor, they will buy them from the Action House. And every single thing that I managed to loot, I sold to the action house. So even health potions, 30 silver, I sold it immediately. Also, I did mention that I have herbalism on the character on my previous video. And I level up that a bit. And with the normal plants, you will not get a lot of money. But I managed to find out, well, I wasn't aware of it, 
on some plants like for example um, Brian Thorn or Mage Royal um, there is a chance it will give you like a Swift Thistle which it has a good price it's a more rare herb and it does sell fast as in I sold only a few but I'm going to show you exactly on my TSM what I've sold and what I haven't I'm just going to loot this gold and even now I managed to use the herbalist to test a few things and while while I was in wetlands around the coast on the west side you will find quite a few of uh, strang and kelp spawns so they are 32 silvers and I managed to sell quite a few so let's see on my TSM what I've done here so if you go on ledger and uh, on sales I've done quite quite all right so let's see only auction so on auction I sold 119 gold which is quite a lot and I told you in let, let's put light feather um, on the mobs that I needed to grind a bit I wanted something that will give me a bit of extra gold not a lot but I sold even with 18 golds I sold with 71 silver sorry or 40 silver but between 30 let's say the average between 30 and 50 silver each um, for the light feather and I sold in total 47 and I made 19 gold only from that and if you put condor meat which is the meat that it's dropped by the same birds that I've mentioned I sold 28 in total 12 gold so even at the early stages because this was in Red Ridge Mountains and I managed to make that much gold I was impressed with it and I was grinding it I believe for two or three levels it was giving me good experience and I said I'm going to use it and at the moment I have quite a few auctions I'm going to test out a few fish that uh, I was doing while I was leveling fishing and all the items that I get from um, running an instance like today I was uh, doing Ignomeron and I managed to uh, get five uh, green items not a lot but like 78 silvers uh, 39 silvers one gold this one it's 13 gold just because it's the shoulder um or this uh back with 83 silvers everything i'm going to uh, put it on the action house and i'm going to try to to sell them and that's how I make my profit. While I was doing a Shadow Fang Keep, I managed to get this bracelet too, the Mind Thrust bracelet. And apparently they, they are nine, uh, level 19 twink item. And at the moment it's 91 gold. And I post it immediately, obviously, because I'm trying to make the money out of it. And like I told you, every, every, every single thing that I managed to uh, get my hands on, I put it straight in the action house and I try to sell it and my next move uh, is going to be tomorrow when I'm going to make a bank tune because at the moment I can't spend all the time with this character leveling somewhere and then going back to the action house and so on so I'm going to send everything to a tune and keep posting with with that one and even like um, the white items like tangy clam meat it's used for cooking and if you have quite a few like 60 61 silver per stack i'm still going to sell it and now i'm going to level up my tailoring to do in a few extra bits and bobs there and i'll show you exactly what i'm doing because at the moment i can make quite a few of uh, bolt of silk cloth or woolen cloth and for some reason it's 40 uh, silver profit for that one but i believe it's because of the market or maybe not so we are going to do that 
and I'm trying to uh, level up the tailoring because I will need to create a few items that I will need from tailoring and yes if you do have any other uh, tips and tricks please do uh, do comment below and I'll and I'll try to, to use them and it may uh, help me or it may help someone else that is watching the video so please do that was a laggy moment there I'm a bit thirsty, I had to drink a bit of water. So yes, how about you guys? Um, did you have enough gold in order to buy the mount when you were to level up a new character? Or what was your thoughts there? As in, did you manage to get a, uh, a bit of extra gold? Um, two of my friends, they were running mage. Uh, and obviously they are doing... Uh, mass away farm so well farm experience farm and they will get quite quite a few um items and things like that so they are they are in a bit more gold than i am but like i told you i'm more than happy with uh, with what i have and with, even with that uh, boe um item that is in the action house 90 gold if i manage to sell it just imagine the whole month from one tiny tiny item that I managed to grab where I was doing Shadow Fan Keep. I should run that instance more often then. I know on that instance you can get the ass uh, Assassination Blade or Assassin Blade, something like that. That was a hot item, maybe it still is. And we'll see. We'll see how that would, uh, that would run. Um, also on Herbalism, I managed to grab a few of uh, this Wild Steel Bloom because I was leveling, let's see, I was leveling in um, Hills Band Foothills and there we go, I couldn't grab it, um, managed to get a few nodes there while I was, while I was uh, leveling around here. So that will give me a bit of profit, as in it's already 3 gold 95 if I sell them all. So that will be an interesting bit. And now we need to create a few of those silk headbands. So we need some fine third. So we want like 6 in the queue. So we'll need 12 fine third. So let's buy some of that. And we need 12. Yes, I'm starting. Um, well, I want to start to stream a bit. So you guys will see exactly how I level up and what build I'm using and things like that. I'm going a bit more on the shadow bit uh, early on. Although I should go on heal because at the end of the game I'm going to play a healer. So that will be something. So I can make six of those items and they are quite nice as in there are some headsets not not a lot of profit to be made with with those but at least I will level up my my tailoring and it does take a while to, to create so I think I'll end the video now guys but like I told you if you do have any other tips and tricks about how to make gold in classic on low character please do comment below and i'll try to test it out because let's face it i will need gold i want to buy them items and buy the mount and also um please do share your experience in uh, world of warcraft classic either if you decide to stay on classic or you want to go through the portal in the TBC expansion, when that will be released, please do comment below and maybe we can form a community or a guild 